everyone! This is a video tutorial for how to compare the solubility of two precipitate salts if they contain a different number of ions. If we take a look at the example we have, we're comparing the solid bismuth sulfide to that of copper 2 sulfide. On initial inspection, you may want to pick copper 2 sulfide as being more soluble because its KSP value is significantly larger, and usually that does imply that something would be more soluble in solution. What we need to do, however, though, is take a look at the actual breakdown of this when it is dissolved in solution. So this would break into two bismuth ions, and this would break into three sulfide ions, giving us a total of five ions overall. If we look at the copper 2 sulfide now, that breaks up simply into copper 2 plus and our sulfide. That is only two ions. So because this has a total of five ions and this has a total of two, we need to do an ice chart calculation to actually determine what the solubility is. Remember, in an ice chart for these kinds of compounds, X represents the solubility. So if we do an ice chart for this one, we're never concerned with the solid, it doesn't affect equilibrium. And we are not starting out with any of those in solution. We will form two X of these, Remember, the 2 and the 2 are linked, and we will form 3x of these. So at equilibrium, we have 2x and 3x. To solve for x, we just need to set this equal to the equilibrium constant. The expression for the equilibrium constant, Ksp, is the concentration of bismuth squared times the concentration of sulfide cubed. If we plug in our values, we have... 2x squared times 3x cubed is equal to the KSP value given, 1.1 times 10 to the minus 73. When you solve for x, you get 1.00 times 10 to the minus 15 molar. So this here is the solubility for our bismuth sulfide salt. Let's now compare that to copper sulfide. Once again, we're going to have to do an ice chart calculation not worried about the solid, none of these to begin with. Plus x here, plus x there. So at equilibrium, I would have x of the copper and x of the sulfide. We're gonna follow exactly the same procedure. Get our expression for Ksp, the concentration of copper two plus, times the concentration of your sulfide, which in this case would be x times x. We then set that equal to the KSP value provided, which is 8.5 times 10 to the minus 45. So to solve for x, the solubility, all we have to do is take a square root of both ends. So when we solve for x in this case, we get a value of 9.22 times 10 to the negative 23rd. So now this here is the solubility of the copper 2 sulfide. So our next goal now is to take a look at this value and compare it to this value. When you do that, you will notice that the bismuth sulfide has a much higher value or a greater amount dissolved in solute than does the copper to sulfide. That would mean that contrary to what you may have thought by looking at KSP values, this here is the more soluble salt. So remember, if your two salts have exactly the same number of ions, then you can just compare the KSP values right away. If they have a different number of ions in them, you're going to have to do the ice chart, solve for x, and then compare those x values to make your final determination. And that's how you do it.